or hi. Corfu, the Greek island, the most northern and the second in area among the Ionian Islands. The population minus 102,071 inhabitants on a census of 2011. Corfu, one of the most popular places of tourist rest in Greece. In Russian the name Corfu though it is more correct to put in Italian an accent on the second syllable. Corfu is widespread. The big Russian encyclopedia gives both accents. Corfu. The name Corfu is official and is used on the Russian language maps published by Roscartographer Fia, but for commercial purposes is almost not used, for example, in the online services providing tourist services. The administrative center of the same name in Russian and in Greek is called as the word of Corfu, but in a number of modern European languages English, French, Italian, German is a rule as Corfu. The Greek name Corfu or Corkira is connected with two considerable water symbols. Poseidon, god of the sea, and Aesop, the Greek deity and the large river on the mainland of Greece. In the myth Poseidon fell in love with Corfu, the daughter Aesop and the river nymph Metope, and stole her that was traditional for myths of that era. Poseidon brought Corfu on so unknown island and, being madly in love, offered her name of Corker as the name of the island which gradually turned in Corfu. A Dorisky dialect. They gave birth to the child who was named Feek in honor of what the population of the island began to call Fikami. This term under the influence of Latin it was transformed to Fikaites. The name Corfu came from Italian, the city of mountains, the event changed from Byzantine. Corifo. Meaning, in turn, to Corifa, a mountain crest. Paleophoria meaning two peaks. The island is extended parallel to the coast of the continent on 65 kilometers. The northern part of the island is at the coast of the district of Saranda in Albania from which it is separated by the passage of Corfu from 3 to 23 kilometers wide, and the southern part of the island is located opposite to Thesprotia. Thesprotias Coast of Greece Northern, wider part, the Gorist Cretaceous and Jurassic systems the highest point of 911 meters, Mount Panda Crater, the southern part represents a narrow, low, hilly strip. Tertiary adjournment. The administrative center of the island, the city of Corfu. Corfu. There the Ionic University is placed. The island is very picturesque and, except for the southern part, is very fertile. The main made products, olive oil, the southern fruit and wine. Flour is imported. On all island rather good ways are paved. The island is connected with the history of Greece from sources of ancient Greek mythology. In 1864 Corfu became a part of independent Greece. Heritage of historical fight, the locks protecting strategically important points on all island. Two locks are located in the administrative center, the only city of Greece protected thus. As a result the city of Corfu was officially announced by Castropolis. The city of locks. The Greek government. In 2007 the old city was included in the World Heritage of UNESCO according to recommendation. Administratively the island since 2019 is divided into three communities. Vori Corfu Northern 
No tea, Corfu. Southern. And central Corfu and Diapontainisi, which enter peripheral unit of Corfu in the periphery of the Ionian Islands. In a form, the island reminds a sickle to which he was compared in the ancient time. The Kincaid party, with the city and the port of Corfu in the center, is located opposite to the coast of Albania. The area of the island is 585. 312 square kilometers, coastline extent minus 251 kilometers. Length of the island is 64 kilometers, and width minus 32 kilometers. Two higher ridges divide the island into three parts where northern, mountainous, central, hilly and southern low. More considerable ridge which Pantocrator enters. Ancient mountain education lasts on the east and the west from the Cape Falacro to the Cape Ceramita and reaches the maximum level at the top which gave the name to all chain. The second top is on our soundboard mountain. Ten Saints. The island consisting of various deposits of limestone has a set of various formations thanks to what views from high points are magnificent. Beaches are located in Ios Gordios. On the Lake Carissia in Ios Irios. Greek. Russian Tumorek Yasa. Greek. Russian Cassiope Sideriona Paleocastritsa Megashoros. And other places. Corfu is located near a geological formation of Cephalonia, therefore, there were earthquakes. The city architecture of Corfu and surrounding lands kept the tradition since the 16th century. The highest point, Mount Pantocrator, makes 911 meters, the second highest point of Stravoskiadi. 849 m. From Cape Sea Ekaterini, Drostis. Are allocated in the north, to Lakimi in the southeast and Asprokovos in the south. Two islands are also located at east coast, in the center of the Gulf Scuvia and Corfu, and are called according to Lazareto and Tiquaya. Vido. Zones of a camping are located in Paleocastritsa, Agrili, Pirioni, Rodia, Gavi, and Masongi. The olive, pear, pomegranate, apple tree, fig, and grapes are cultivated. From them, the apple tree and pear are rare on Corfu today, and here the others perfectly blossom together with other fruit trees growing in southern Europe, the kumquat, a lopva, a prickly pear and in some places, bananas were added to them. The myrtle, a tree strawberry, laurels and a stone oak grows in not cultivated zones, creating a violent underbrush. Herbs are also widely presented on the island. Corker Skytetsia ostrovom scaria. Homer and its early inhabitants were called Fika. In times undoubtedly earlier than the base of Syracus, the island was populated with settlers from Corinth and, probably, even earlier emigrants from Eritrea. Magnificent trade position of Corkira on the road between Greece and the west caused rapid growth. The population of the island is possible under the influence of settlers not, the Corinthian origin, contrary to other colonies of Corinth, had independent and even separatist sentiments of rather maternal city. This opposition reached peak in the 7th century BB when the fleet of Corfu and Corinth entered the sea battle, the first in the history of Greece. About 664 BB. 
This revolt ended with gaining Korpira Korinskim by the tyrant Periander who moved again acquired territories taking part in colonization Apollonia Salerisco. At first Periander put to rule Korfidi son Nicolae, but that was killed during the revolt. Having suppressed a revolt, Periander put the nephew Samatik on Corfu. After death Periander Samatik returned to Corinth and Corfu returned its self-independence, and from now on devoted itself to purely trade policy. During the Persian invasion in 480 BB on the island the second largest fleet of Greece, 60 ships, was brought together, however it didn't take part in fights. In 435 BB the island was involved in the conflict with Corinth again and attracted to itself in the help Athens. Fight at Sabotsky Islands. The new alliance became one of initiators of the Peloponnese War in which Corfu was sea base of Athenians, though didn't expose their own fleet. The island was almost lost for Athenians after two attempts of oligarchical fraction to make a revolution. The People's Party won both cases and committed bloody massacre over oligarchs. 427 and 425 BB During the Sicilian campaign of Athenians of Corfu formed them base of supply. After the third unsuccessful revolt of oligarchs. 410 BB The island practically ceased to be involved in war. In 375 BB he was included into the Athenian Sea Union again. In two years Spartans besieged the island however, despite ruin of surrounding lands, it sustained a siege. During the Hellenistic period of Corfu I was regularly attacked from the different parties. After an ineffectual siege the Macedonians are Cassander, the island was occupied by Spartans led by Cleonim, Cleons' son. 303 BB Then returned its self-independence. 299 BB And then it is again captured by Agafakal. The last gave Corfu to a dowry of the daughter Lanassi on a wedding with the Tsar of Epirus Pierre. After that the island became a Persky's dick of the Union. Probably then the settlement Cachapea as base for expeditions of Pierre was founded. The island became independent after Alexander II of Persky's death. 255 BB In 229 BB the island was occupied by Illyriots but was quickly busy with the Roman fleet and remained the Roman base approximately up to 189 to N. At this time Corfu was operated by the prefect appointed the consul, however in 148 BB was included in the province Macedonia. In 31 BB he served to Octavian as base against Mark Anthony. After final disintegration of the Roman Empire in 395 Ad Corfu remained in the Eastern Roman Empire after begun to be called Byzantium. Having faded into the background after foundation of the city of Nicopol in Epirus, Corfu for a long time drops out of sight. With strengthening of the Norman Kingdom on Sicily and strengthening of the Italian fleet the island became a frequent object of attacks again. In 1081, 1085 he was held by Robert Viscar, in 1147, 1154 Roger II Sicilisti. During defeat of Byzantium by Crusaders the island was occupied by the Genoa Corsairs, 1197, 1207, but were expelled by Venetians. In 1214, 1259 the Greek Epirsky despot owned the island. Then of the island of Corfu, 1267. 
the Neapolitan kingdom took control. The island constantly was exposed to frequent attacks of seekers of good luck, and decided to entrust the destiny to Venice in 1386. In 1401 the Venetian Republic announced his formal independence. Corfu belonged to Venice nearly 400 years. 1401-1797. Though several times she was captured by the Turkish fleet and ground forces. Turks subjected Corfu to four sieges. In 1537, 1571, 1573 and 1716. The efficiency of the Venetian strengthenings, also as well as the Byzantine strengthenings in Angelo Castro, Cassiope, Codiki and others helped Corfu to remain the last bastion of the taken Greek Christian civilization in the southern Balkans after falling of Constantinople. Probably, Corfu is obliged to the Venetian Republic that it remained the only part of Greece never conquered by Muslims. Its series of attempts of the Ottoman Empire began to occupy the island in 1431 when the Turkish troops under Ali Bey's leadership I landed on the island, tried to take the lock and devastated surrounding lands, however were prostrate. The first big siege began on August 29, 1537 when 25000 soldiers of the Turkish fleet landed on the island, plundered him and took away 20000 prisoners in slavery. However despite ruin of villages, city fortress held on 12 days at the constant attacks of Turks then those were forced to recede because of poorness of supply and epidemic which arose among the Turkish soldiers. Thirty-four years later, in August 1571, Turks returned. Having captured Pargu and Myrtos, they attacked Paxos. After that, they landed on the southern coast of Corfu and occupied the big base from the southernmost tip of the island at Lakimi City to Ipsos on the east side in the middle of the island. All this territory was plundered, as well as last time. However city fortress stood again, having proved firmness of fighters and engineering abilities of the Venetian builders. It is worth mentioning also other fortress, Angelo Castro. Means the lock of the angel, in honor of its Byzantine owner Angelo's common. Located on the northwest coast near Paleo Castrizza. Means the place of the old castle and standing on a steep slope and stones which is a site today and which sustained the Turkish siege too. The second large siege of Corfu was undertaken during the last Turkish and Venetian War. 1714-1718 After conquest of Peloponnese in 1715, the Ottoman fleet of Butrin caught up opposite to Corfu. On July 8, 1716 the Turkish fleet which brought 33000 people of a landing came to Corfu from Butrint and occupied the base in Ipsosa. On the same day the Venetian fleet met Turkish in the passage Corfu and overcame in the followed fight. On July 19 after capture of several separate forts, the Ottoman army reached hills around Corfu and besieged it. Despite the constant attacks and heavy fights, Turks couldn't break defense of the city and were forced to raise a siege in 22 days. 1500 Venetian and foreign merchants together with 1300 core fiat under leadership of Johann Schulenberger ordering defense celebrated a victory again. Exile of Turks was widely celebrated in Europe as Corfu seemed a bastion of the Western culture against the Ottoman Empire. Nevertheless today this role of the island is forgotten or just don't pay attention to it. The city of Corfu very much differs from the majority of the Greek cities in the unique history. 
his most part reminds of times when the island belonged to Venice. Many families speaking in a Venetian way lodged to Corfu all the time, and to the second half of the 20th century the Venetian language sounded on his streets. During this time local italo romischi Greek acquired a huge number of the Italian and Venetian words which are actively used also today. The Venetian governors pursued self-policy in relation to local feudal lords who accepted some Venetian customs. Corfiotam was allowed to be enriched growing up olives, but was forbidden to enter the trade competition to Venice. The island served as a shelter for the Greek scientists and in 1732 the first academy in modern Greece was founded on the island. The Korski theologian and the scientist Nikifor Fiotoki 1732-1800 became known as the teacher in Greece and the Orthodox Archbishop in Russia where he moved at the end of life. The Italian Jews looked for shelters to Corfu from prosecutions and talked in own Jewish-Italian consisting of Hebrew and Venetian with an impregnation of the Greek words. The Venetian influence helped also development of the opera. During the Venetian board in Corfu owed to the passionate love to the Italian opera which became the engine of extraordinary musical development of the island during this period developed. At this particular time here the first opera in Greece appeared. Unfortunately, the opera theatre is very strongly damaged by Germans during World War II. Venetians actively advanced Catholicism for four centuries of the board. Though today most of inhabitants of the island belongs to Hellas Orthodox Church, 5% of Catholics speak about former customs. These Catholics, generally the families which arrived from Malta and also from Italy, and today the Catholic commune totals about 1400 people. The Maltese Diaspora Which practically all live in the Venetian citadel in the city of Corfu in full harmony with Orthodox Christians. As well as other Greek Catholics, they celebrate Easter, using one calendar with Orthodox Church. Island life absorbed also gastronomic Venetian influence, such as the most popular dish of sofrito on the island. On the Campo Formisti World 1797 Corfu departed to revolutionary France which owned him two years as Department of Courier. During War of the Second Coalition joined Russian Ottoman forces under leadership of the Admiral Yushikov in 1799 expelled the French. For a short time the island became the capital of the self-coping Republic of Seven Islands under Protectorate of Turks. In 1807 on the Tilsit world the power was delegated to the French again. In 1809 it was overthrown by the British fleet which took also other Ionian islands. When on the Parisian world on November 5, 1815 the Ionian islands became protectorate of Great Britain, Corfu became the place of stay of the High Commissioner and of the Ionic Republic. The British commissioners, in fact autocrats, despite existence of the local senate, used the strict manner of management which gave a certain improvement of financial position of the island, however her severity didn't please local population. On March 29, 1864 Great Britain, Greece, France and Russia signed the London Contract on Transfer of Sovereignty of Greece. So, on May 28, 1864, with assistance of the High Commissioner, the Ionian Islands were a part of Greece. During World War I, the island served as a shelter for the Serbian army which departed there by the Allied ships with the occupied Austria-Hungary and Bulgaria of the homeland. During their stay, a large number of the Serbian soldiers died of fatigue, hunger and diseases. 
the majority of the remains is buried in the sea near the island of Tikwai on which the monument in gratitude to the Greek people from Serbians was put. Because of it waters around the island are known among Serbians as the Blue Cemetery. On August 27, 1923 in Zepi, small settlement on the long road between Yanina and Kokovia, between the 50th and 53rd kilometers, on border between Greece and Albania, the group of the Italian officers headed by the General Enrico Tolini dealing with issues of demarcation of the Greek-Albanian border was killed. On August 29 Italy delivered to the Greek government the ultimatum which contained requirements of official apologies from Greece, payments of 50 million liras as compensation and punishment of murderers. Greeks didn't manage to find responsible for murder and then, in an ultimatum reinforcement, on August 31, 1923 the Italian parts conducted bombing and occupied the island of Corfu. On September 3, 1923 the League of Nations at the request of Greece held a meeting at which it condemned occupation of the island and adopted the resolution on holding a procedure of the international arbitration. A decision, favorable in relation to Italy, was recognized by Greece, and on September 29, 1923 the Italian troops left Corfu. During the Italo-Greek War of Corfu it was captured by Italians in April 1941. They operated the island and the Ionian Islands separately from Greece till September 1943 when Corfu was made a part of the Italian Kingdom according to Benito Mussolini's plan Begitli. During World War II the 10th Infantry Division of the Greek Army consisting generally of Korsky soldiers had the task protection of the island. The division took part in the operation, Latsides, which was heroic, but unsuccessful attempt to win against the Italian troops. After defeat of Greece from fascists, the island passed under control of Italy. On the first Sunday of November, 1941 pupils of all higher schools of Corfu took part in a student's protest against occupation. Subsequently many Corfiota were transported to Epirus and became guerrillas. After falling of the Italian fascism, on September 14, 1943 Corfu underwent bombing of Luftwaffe. Italians capitulated and the island was occupied by Germans. Demarc Kirkery Colas was a collaborator and adopted several anti-Semitic Nazi laws. Corfu was freed by the British troops which landed on October 14, 1944 when Germans were evacuated from Greece. The Royal Fleet examined the passage Corfu on existence of mines in 1944 and 1945 and didn't find them there. After World War II and Civil War the island was reconstructed according to the general program of reconstruction of the Greek government and many classical elements of architecture were kept. The economy grew, however a part of the population left the island, having gone to other areas of the country. The buildings built during the Italian occupation were directed to service to society. In 1956 Maria de Silla, the relative of the first governor of Greece Ion Capodistria, was elected to Marquis communities of Corfu and became the first female demarchum in Greece. Two villages electrical equipment was installed in the 1950th years, the Greek radio station 2 Corfu appeared in March, 1957, the television appeared in the 1960th years, and connection to the internet took place in 1995. The Ionic University was founded in 1984.
because of neglect of the Athenian government, local businessmen and other population suggested to create the party playing for autonomy which has to take part in elections of 2010. To Corfu several historical places remained. The place of the ancient city of Corcyra. Corfu. It's precisely established and is in two kilometers on the southeast from the modern city on a narrow piece of the earth between the salt lake Halikiapula and the Gulf Castrades, in each of which there was a port. On the hill at Sanchen the temple which is usually called by Poseidon's temple simple, the dome-shaped building which kept the architectural specificity, despite strong destruction remained. From Kashapaya, the only important ancient city besides the administrative center, the name still remained in the modern village Cassiope where it is possible to find ruins of ancient buildings. However, the temple of Zeus Cassiopeia, in honor of which the city was called, completely disappeared. On the island, there is a set of monasteries and other structures of times of the Venetian board, the most known of which are Paleocastritza, San Salvador, and Paleca. Numerous tourist attracts Achillean, the palace built by Elizabeth Bavaskaya and bought by Wilhelm II in 1907. The city of Corfu is known for the Italian architecture, is especially remarkable Liston, a vaulted colonnade with various cafes on the edge of Spinada. Other city dominants, the city mayor's office, all the new fortresses, the Palace of Saints Michael and Georgi, the former residence of the British governors and the Senate of the Ionic Republic, and the Summer Palace, Monrepo, which was earlier belonging to the Greek royal family where the Duke of Edinburgh was born. Monrepo's Park is located near Paleopolis of Corfu where the Greek Archaeological Service together with the Belgian University of Leuven Lana Oven Brown University, the USA carries out excavation. During World War II the island was subjected to bombings by the German Air Force that led to destruction of many city buildings, including the market. Agora and Hotel Bella Venetian. Magnificent buildings of the Ionic Academy. And the Municipal Theatre which replaced with Nobel Teatro di San Giacomo in 1901 became the biggest architectural losses from bombings of Luftwaffe. On this place then the building of modern architecture was built. In local parliament disputes on demolition of this new building and construction of the copy of old theatre were conducted. And here the Ionic University built up academy buildings in all beauty. The Empress Elizabeth Bavaskaya, also famous as Sissy, was the woman-loving beauty. She lost the only son of the Crown Prince Rudolf after his suicide in 1889. One year later in 1890 she built the Summer Palace near Gusturi. To the south of the city, with the strong mythical hero Achilles as the main subject. The palace with the neoclassical Greek statues surrounding it is a monument to both platonic romanticism and escapism. He was called Achillean in honor of Homer Achilles' hero. And in the main building and in gardens the palace is filled with pictures and Achilles' statues representing the Trojan War. Imperial gardens on the eminence look at surrounding green hills and valleys and also to the Ionian Sea. The central place in gardens is taken by the statue on a high pedestal representing mortally wounded Achilles. Achilles Tnesken, Achilles Yumairahashi. Without any arrogance dressed in common clothes and the Corinthian helmet. This statue was created by the German sculptor.
The hero is represented deprived of ranks and ranks and it seems the ordinary person and at the same time the hero all the time trying to pull out Paris's arrow from a heel. Contrary to a statue, on the main ladder of the palace there is a huge picture of the winning Achilles full of pride. Dressed in all royal and military regalia, standing on the chariot, he drags a breathless corpse of Hector in the face of the stunned crowd looking with grief from walls of Troy. In 1898 the Empress Sissi was killed at the age of 60 years by the anarchist in Geneva. After her death the palace was sold to the German Kaiser Wilhelm II. Later he was acquired by the state and turned into the museum. The German Kaiser Wilhelm II also loved very much to spend time for Corfu. Having bought a Killian after Sissi's death, he employed Karl Ludwig Scharinger as the landscape architect of the palace and also built the bridge called local in his honor, Kaiser Bridge. The bridge intended to reach the beach without crossing the road, the main artery of the island between the north and the south. The bridge reduced distance from the lower part of a garden to the neighboring beach. His ruins, a monument to imperial luxury and personal comfort, are a noticeable point on the route. On a twist of fate, the central part of the bridge was demolished by the German military during World War II to give journey to military trucks. The city of Corfu is located on a wide part of the peninsula whose termination in old fortress is cut off from the city by the artificial ditch created in a natural drain with sea water below. Today he serves as pier and contrafossa is called. The old city growing in fortifications where each meter was worth its weight in gold is entangled by a labyrinth of the narrow streets paved with a cobblestone, sometimes curves, but always bright and clean. These streets are known as Kadunia. And the oldest of them sometimes repeat roundnesses of a relief, and some are too narrow for the motor transport. The pedestrian zone goes along the coast of the Gulf Gorica. Between the city and fortress, with the well-known square promenade Spinada. To the west of Spinada, in Liston Gallery. The Parisian Rivoli Street built at the beginning of the 19th century on a sample, numerous cafes and restaurants are located. Southern Raising of Paleo Furio The ditch constructed by Venetians is at the left. The street. George's Church constructed in Doric style by the British is visible on a background on the right. Old Fortress Paleo Frurio is the old Venetian fortress constructed on the artificial island with defensive works on all perimeter though some pieces, especially on east side, gradually collapse and fall in the sea. However the interior is restored and is used for cultural actions, such as concerts, and sound and light shows where historical scenes are played with use of sound and lighting special effects. These events happen in heart of ancient fortifications to the Ionian Sea on a background. The highest point in the center of a citadel rises as a huge obelisk with the military observation point with a huge cross at top. At his bottom street. Georgie's church in classical style with addition of six Doric columns, contrary to the Byzantine architectural style of Orthodox churches of the main part of Greece, constructed during the British board and imposing of Anglican churches located. The U Fortress Neo Furio is a huge complex of the defensive works built in a northeast part of the city. Huge walls dominate over a landscape along the road passing from Newport. Neo Limani 
through the fish market to the city. Until recently New Fortress was the closed territory because of the sea garrison placed there. Nowadays limits are lifted and fortress is open for public access. Tourists make excursions on labyrinths of medieval corridors and defensive works. A winged lion of Saint Mark, a symbol of Venice, it is possible to find through certain intervals on all fortress. Opposite to old Venetian fortress the big area under the name Spinada. Divided by the street into two parts is located. Anya Platia, Verkhnyaya Square, and Cato Platia, Nizhnyaya Square. It is the biggest area in Southeast Europe and one of the largest in the whole Europe, filled with green plantings and interesting constructions as, for example, a rotunda in Roman style of times of the British administration, known as Maitland's Monument constructed in memory of the British officer, Sir Thomas Maitland. In 2002 the Russian embassy opened a modest monument to the Admiral Yushikov. A richly decorated musical pavilion is also located on the square. In it the local Philharmonic Orchestra gives concerts of classical and popular music. Cato Platia also sometimes serves as the venue of matches on cricket. Greece plays cricket only to core through where it appeared at the time of the British protectorate. To the north Cato Platia is located the palace of Saints Michael and Georgi. Palianictor of the old palace. The big complex of buildings in Roman style used for accommodation of the King of Greece and the British governors of the island. Today the complex is open for general public and is used for various exhibitions, for example the Museum of Asian Art. The palace gardens filled with old Venetian ponds, exotic trees and flowers tower over the gulf visible through old Venetian fortifications and towers. Sea baths are located at the bottom of the walls protecting a garden. The cafe which is in the park is the art gallery where local and foreign artists are exposed and it is known among local as Art Cave. From here it is possible to observe also the ships passing across the narrow canal of the island of Tikwai on the north on the way to Neolimani Kerkeri port and the high-speed ferries on underwater wings from Igumanitsa are going across visible space. It is possible to find houses of times of the Venetian board in some parts of the old city. The architecture of the old city is under the strong influence of the Venetian architectural style coming from long presence of Venice. Small old lanes and old buildings remind Venice. From 37 Greek churches the city cathedral of St. Spyridon where relics of the patron of the island lie, and suburban church of Saints Yasin and Sosipatros are main. At an entrance on the peninsula of Canoni, the oldest on Corfu, is devoted to two saints who brought Christianity on the island. The nearby island of Pondiconision on Greek, the Mass Island. Though small, however very green, is covered with trees and rises over water by only two meters. On Pondiconisiona, the monastery Pantocrator is located. The white stone ladder of the monastery from far away looks as a mouse tail, as named the Island of Mouse. The island of Lazareto, earlier known as Ios Demetrios, is located in two nautical miles from the city of Corfu. The island has the area of seven hectares and is under control of the Greek National Tourist Organization. 
During the Venetian board at the beginning of the 16th century on the island the monastery was built, and slightly the leper colony then the island and received the name was founded later. In 1798 during the French occupation the island was occupied by the Russian Turkish fleet using him as military hospital. During the British occupation in 1814 the leper colony was open again after restoration and after leaving in 1864 of the British the leper colony was periodically used. During World War II the occupational government of fascists created the concentration camp on the island for the captured decks of the Greek resistance though today there were only two buildings, the Italian troops serving as the headquarters, small church and a wall opposite to which sentence shop. To core for the olive and grapes generally grows, olive oil and wine were produced since antiquity here. The main grades of grapes to Corfu, local white cockroaches and red petrocorito, Kefaliniski white robola, Aegean Moscato, a white muscat, Acacia mavrodaf and others. In the present professional cultivation and good climate brought on the island a kumquat and a bergamot which are actively used for production of sweets and liqueurs. Corfu also makes animal products such as gravier, kind of brewer, Korfsky cheese, the Korfsky oil, the seasoned oil for cooking and bread made of sheep milk, and the sausage from pork and fat seasoned with orange candied fruits, and oregano, caraway seeds and other fragrant herbs. The island became an important stop on routes of vessels again and well trades in olive oil. Earlier the lemon which was grown up here was also actively exported. The major making economy of the island tourism is. For many work is only during a tourist season. Besides, students from around the world gather in a high season on the island to combine earnings and rest. They get a job in local hotels, restaurants and other entertaining institutions, working in the afternoon, and having a good time in the afternoon. The island is covered by two routes. Gar minus 24 in the northwest and Gar minus 25 in the south. The Greek National Road 24, Corfu, Paleocastritsa. The Greek National Road 25, Corfu, Lykimi. From Corfu the international ferries go to Italy. Bari to the Greek continent to Igumenitsa and Patras and to some Ionian islands Paxi, Zakynthus, Cephalonia except regular large size ferries high speed vessels on underwater wings the so called the flying dolphins go from small port Lakimi on the southernmost tip of the island the ferry also goes to the continent. Ferry traffic is various only during a tourist season. In the rest of the time of year regularly only ferry traffic between Corfu and Igumenitsi. The International Airport, El Nifkabodestria, is approximately a kilometer from the administrative center of the island and in only several hundred meters from the island Pontikanisi on which when landing the great view together with the monastery of Lacona located on the island to the south from the peninsula of Kanoniabans. From the airport internal flights of Olympic Airlines. The 600, 602 and 606 and the Aegean Airline A 402, 404 and 406 Fly Also by Water Air Sea Lines Plane, the Greek operator of water planes The company ceased to function in 2009 
it was possible to reach Paxos, Lycus, Ithaca, Cephalonia, Yanina, Patras and Brindisi in Italy. In the airport several airlines low cost, generally at the height of a tourist season also make flights. From Newport in the administrative centre to the main settlements on the island about six times a day go green buses. Tuglafada, Sidari, Paleo Kastritsu, Rad, Lakimi, Akaravi and Piri. From their twice a day buses to Athens and Thessaloniki depart. Twelve city bus routes, so called blue buses, with an interval of 30, 90 min. Beginning at Sirocco Square or near it, come to an end in suburbs. Bennett says, No. Achilleona. No. Pyramids. No. Pelicus. No. Eleven. Hyzionis. No. Everpuli. No. Ipsos. No. Kefalomenduko. 2B. Kamitsi. No. 14. Anat Airport. No. 19. From Spinada to the extremity of the peninsula of Canoni, from where the view of the island of Pondicanision opens, no. To a goes. Tourism. The known Dhammer Channel Beach in Sidari in Windy Day. On an entrance to the bay there is a pass in a stone on the right which proceeds to an exit on the other hand, the natural tunnel which gave the name to the beach, the Channel of Love in French. Travel business, the leading branch of economy of Corfu. The northeast coast was strongly improved by the British travel agency's construction of big expensive country houses for rest. Hotels are located on all coasts of the island. Among the most popular places of tourist rest. In the southeast of the island the town of Cavos focused on youth rest, paleo in the northwest and Parama. Washington, in several kilometers to the south from the administrative center from where one of the best and the most known views of the coast, on the Vlakernsky Monastery and the island of Pondikinijan opens. The island is the popular place of a pilgrimage for Orthodox Christians and Catholics as in temples of the island relics of Saint Spyridon of Trimathas and Blessed Theodore and also Apostles from 70, Yesen and Sasapeta State. A celebration of Easter on the island is considered one of the most magnificent in Greece, being followed by religious processions, parades of orchestras, night pyrotechnic representations, etc. In those days, when the most part of Greece belonged to Ottomana, the Ionian Islands endured the golden age of music and the opera. Corfu was the capital of the Venetian colony that gave unique musical and theatrical inheritance. In the 19th century, as the British protectorate, Corfu brought own musical heritage which becomes history of music of modern Greece now into world. Before the beginning of the 18th century musical life happened on the city and rural squares, with submissions of the traditional and musical comedy, known as Mamaris and Bobaris. Since 1720 Corfu became the homeland of the first theatre in Greece after 1452. It was Teatro San Giacomo. Nowadays in this building the mayor's office. Called in honour nearby of the standing Roman Catholic Cathedral.
finished in 1691. Musical folklore to Corfu is various. Among genres, so called. The improvised vocal ensembles on two, four voices, to the accompaniment of a guitar. Now they sound not in the national environment, and represent a sort of the souvenir presented by street musicians for entertainment of tourists. Groups Philharmonic societies are which also provide free music education, are still popular and attract young followers. There are 19 such marching groups on all island. In the city of Corfu there are three most prestigious groups as importance. Philharmonic Society Corfu uses a dark uniform with dark red two-tones and blue-red plumes. It usually is called Old Philharmonic Hall, or simply, Polia. Old. It is based on September 12, 1840. Philharmonic Society of Mansaros uses a blue uniform with blue and beauty plumes. He is usually called, no. Novaya Gazeta. It is based on October 25, 1890. The Philharmonic Union of Capodistri uses brightly red with black a uniform and plumes. It is usually called Conte Capodistrija or just Conte. Columns. He the youngest of three. It is based on April 18, 1980. All three contain two main groups in everyone, the main group which can bring together to 200 musicians on big events and group of 60 students, players in less important cases. Groups give regular concerts during summer weekend on Spinada in the Green Arbor and have an obligatory part at annual ceremonies of the Holy Week. Clear but in fact friendly rivalry between them remains, and everyone strictly adheres to the repertoire. Every time when the group passes another by a location, they stop and give musical salute to the rivals. Though officially it is a tribute, actually it is a way to show to the rivals the abilities and to strike them. On the Good Friday since midday and further group of three philharmonic societies, divided into groups, accompany processions with a shroud of city churches. After group gather to accompany a procession with a shroud of the cathedral, and dead marches of group play different. In the morning and Easter Eve, three city groups take part in a procession with a shroud of Cathedral of St. Spired and with relics of the saint again. After a litany there is revival celebration. Balconies in the old city are decorated through the clay pots filled with water that those broke against the sidewalk into red fabrics and corfielda. It becomes an presentiment of revival of Christ which will be celebrated at night. During the Venetian board of a corfielda fell in love with the Italian opera. Novel Teatro di San Giacomo. English. Russian, called in honor of the next cathedral was Opera Theatre Corfu in the 18-19 centuries, however the late building was turned into the mayor's office. It was the first theatre and the first opera in modern Greece. Long series of local composers, such as Nicholas Mansaros, Spiridon Kinders, Antonio Liberali, Domenico Padovani, the Zakintas Pavlos Kara, Lambalet's family, Spiros Samaras and others developed together with theatre. San Giacomo's place in 1902 was taken by Municipal Theatre which I kept opera traditions up to destruction during World War II in 1943 during the German air raids.
The first opera played San Giacomo in 1733 was the opera Gyron, the Tyrant Syracuse. Johann Adolf Hauss on the libretto by Aurelio Orli, and within nearly 200 years from 1771 to 1943 almost all large operas of Italy just as many others the Greek and French composers were played on San Giacomo stage. It is the magnificent tradition which created magnificent musical inheritance, continues to be reflected in Korsky opera mythology. The Municipal Theatre of Corfu became the main theatre and the opera to Corfu since 1902. The noble Teatro Theatre of Di San Giacomo, which building became the mayor's office of Corfu, was a predecessor of Municipal Theatre. He was destroyed by Luftwaffe during bombing in 1943. One of interesting traditions of Corfu is the Carnival or Carnivalia. Initially Venetian, the holiday includes a parade with the main participant Carnivalesi, quite grotesque figure with the big head and a smiling face conducting a procession of multicolored platforms. Corfiota, young and old alike, put on in multicolored suits and follow a parade being scattered on narrow streets and carrying a holiday on all city. Argonauts disappeared to Corfu from prosecution of the Colchis fleet after stealing of the Golden Fleece. In a mythical sea adventure of Homer II, Odyssey, of Corfu, the island of Feek, where Odysseus met Nafsiku, the daughter of the Tsar Alcania. The Gulf Paleocastritza is considered the place where Odysseus landed and met Nafsiku for the first time. At the coast of Corfu, three islands die upon Tainisi, the largest of which, Otoni, is considered the island of Ojiji of the nymph Calypso, on a visit at which Odysseus, returning from the coast of Troia located, I carried out long seven years. Corfu in literature On Corfu there is an action. The autobiographical trilogy by the English writer naturalist Gerald Darrell, My Family and Other Animals, Birds, Animals and Relatives, A Garden of Gods, and the TV series of the same name based on it. BBC, 1987. In these works the island nature, his flora and fauna and also life of locals is in detail described. The house where there lived the family Darolav is in Paramat Hill top behind Egley Hotel. Mystical novel by Alexander Amphiti, Heat Color. Novel by the English writer Mary Stewart, The Strange Magic, 1964. The novel by Valentin Pickle, I have honored events of World War I in which the Serbian army disappears on Corfu from Austro-Hungarian and Bulgarian aggressors are mentioned. Novel by Valery Ganachev, Yushikov. Corfu in feature films. A number of movies was shot to Corfu including The movie of 1981 about James Bond, Only for Your Eyes. The most memorable stage of the movie connected with the island is an underground Greek temple with the huge turtle floating by the camp. The scene with Casino was shot in Achilleona. Among other scenes of the movie there is Molina and James walk on city streets and Molina and Bond's meeting on the island of Pondiconision. The scene representing the Greek wedding was removed in the village of Buz Danalia. The movie of 1970, Executioner, in leading roles George Peppard and Joan Collins. Television series of BBC of 1987 and the movie of 2005 on the book, My Family and Other Animals, by Gerald Darrell about his childhood to Corfu in the late 30s. The Soviet movie, The Ship Storm Bastions, 1953. From a diligy about the Russian naval commander Admiral F.F.
Yushikov, 1745-1817. Reproduces storm of the Ionian Islands occupied by the French and citadels of Corfu in 1799 and tells about writing of the first Greek constitution by Yushikov. It wrote in one of the orders. I came here to restore peace and harmony. In October 2002 on the island of Corfu the monument to the Admiral Fyodor Yushikov is established. There is Yushikov Street. Annually since 2002 there past days of remembrance of street. Righteous Soldier FF. Yushikov here. Education. Except that Corfu is considered the center of fine arts, the Ionic Academy maintaining traditions of the Greek education since when other Greece still fought against the Turkish occupation is here too located. The Ionic University founded in 1984 is here too located during management of administration Andreas Papander in memory of a contribution of Corfu to education in Greece as the place of the first Greek university of the present, the Ionic Academy. The Academy was founded in 1824, in 40 years prior to accession of the Ionian Islands to Greece and three years later after the Greek Revolution of 1821. Museums and Libraries The Gorgon B4 will be head her Perseus, the image on a pediment from Artemis's temple at an exhibition in the Archaeological Museum Corfu. Corfu was always the cultural center and her museums and libraries are filled with irreplaceable exhibits and books. The most known museums and libraries of the island are located in the administrative center and it The Archaeological Museum of Corfu opened in 1967 was constructed for the display of a huge pediment of the Temple of Artemis. The 6th century BB Representing the Gorgon, found in Paleopolis at the beginning of the 20th century. In 1994 two more halls where new finds of the ancient city and Goritz's cemetery are exposed were open. It is closed for updating of an exposition from May 2012 to summer of 2015. The Museum of Banknotes of the Ionic Bank located at Irene Kipriakouagan Square contains a full collection of the Greek banknotes from independence before input of Euro in 2002. Free admission The public library of Corfu is located in Old English Barracks in Paleophorio. The Museum of Art of Asia is located in the Palace of Saints Michael and Georgi. Generally Chinese and Japanese art. His unique collection is presented in 15 rooms, having about exhibits, including a collection of the Greek Buddhists, showing Alexander of Macedon's influence on Buddhist culture up to Pakistan. Capodistria's Museum. The holiday apartment of Ion Capodistria in the birthplace on Corfu was turned into the museum devoted to his life and achievements. The Serbian Museum includes a rare exhibition about the tragic fate of the Serbian soldiers in World War I. Also far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.